monkey people. Lovely to see you. As you can see, we're doing a one camera only today because it's clear file collection day. <laughs> I have a small problem. Clear files and pencil boards as well. So if you don't know what a clear file is, let me just grab one for you right here. This is a clear file. So these are A4 sized acrylic file files. Yes, it's just like, it's a plastic pocket. Um, I assume you can get them in other countries too. I feel like I've seen these back in Canada. But basically, it is just a file folder for putting things in. And you find them all over the place in Japan. And I particularly like them because they come with lots of fancy artworks. And often it's artwork that like, for example, you might only see on card sleeves or on bags or t-shirts or other merchandise that I don't particularly need. But I can get these and I can look at them and appreciate them. Um, I've sometimes used them as the background in videos and um, I sometimes just have a massive stack that sits on a shelf in my room. Oops. Um, also have here pencil boards. So let's do the pencil boards first. Now these I think are less common in Western countries and basically what it is, it's a very hard chunk of acrylic plastic with artwork on it and the idea if it'll focus this one is actually over 13 years old I bought this one and this one when I lived in Sakaishi Osaka 13 years ago I have held on to them ever since because they're so cute and Pokemon Diamond and Pearl are kind of special to me but yeah um pencil boards I was explaining what they are essentially when you are writing in a notebook you would slide one under your paper and right here and it prevents you from engraving onto the next page which anyone who's ever done any sort of sketching in a cheap sketchbook can tell you is really annoying when you go to the next page and you keep going like the dunk the dunk the dunk and you're like no i didn't want to engrave my page so some of these i bought some of these well i have bought them all some of them i bought new this one like i bought at a second hand shop it was like 100 yen and i was like why not it's all the pokemon xy look at them all i used to have a bunch of anime ones back in high school i would buy them i think you guys have seen this one before the shibuzo art I would buy them um, because you could get them at anime conventions, sometimes at import stores, and they're just really good, like, kind of nifty little posters. They're not that big. I think it's a B4 size. Sorry, I don't, I don't remember Western sizes of things anymore. I know A4 is about an eight and a half by 11. That's all, that's all I need to know. Look at this awesome one. I think I used this as a background too once. Um, but essentially, if you're like me and you like putting things on your walls these are really handy because you can put on um, blue tack on them and they stick on it doesn't damage them um obviously you're not going to put stables or things you can even put like push pins like you know the flat thumbtacks around the corners and kind of like frame it in but because they're quite sturdy um they're fairly easy to put up and keep in good condition and the back of this one's cute too <laughs> and um I was gonna say they're small that's it so you can put lots of them on the walls you can have many 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 look at this one from the last movie sorry about the reflections some of these um as you can probably tell are still in their plastic casing because why would I take it out this one I actually bought two of because thunder kitten look at it it's so cute so as you can see I just have like tons and tons and tons of stuff like this <laughs> still in packaging with the price tag and everything um, cause I buy a lot of them at the Pokemon Center or there's things like this one. I don't even remember how I got this. Um, I think this was a free promotional thing. This one is a file, but as you can see, when you open it up, ta-da, um, I'm still not entirely sure what was supposed to be done with these. It has these pages in here. Um, they are the shape and size of a pencil board, but not the same quality. I think you're supposed to collect stickers or something. It was some sort of a promotional thingy you can see it's got this little booklet in there too but i don't even remember how i got it so of course i wasn't about to go out run around and try and do whatever i was supposed to do with it but yeah Ta -da! now a big stack of my a uh, big stack a big part of my stack here let's grab them these ones these are all freebies these are from the pokemon center now when you order from the pokemon center online you get points and unlike other websites i'm just going to hold them up and talk while i show them you already saw this one though um unlike other websites and things where you gain points on the pokemon center website you use the points to play a slots game and if you win the slots game you get usually clear files i've actually got some stickers as well that i've won from that um it's really really like cute and fun um i don't remember exactly how you earn the points like 
what the amount of money spent is in terms of how much like you know how some places like you spend a hundred a hundred yen you get one point you spend a dollar get a point or spend ten dollars get a point i don't know exactly how the calculations work on the pokemon center look at all them tapus but um it's 20 points to play the slots once if you play and you win you get one of these in the mail like it, it doesn't cost you anything you don't pay for shipping or anything um if you play twice and lose then the next time you order something you get that month's special postcard which i used to try really really hard to do because is well, we'll do a postcard video someday i am also like obsessed with postcards and have quite a few of them around this one's quite nice so these are all of my um my winnings my winnings from the pokemon center online look at how cute this one is and you can probably notice that they all have um can you see it down here pokemon center online is written on most of them I tried to sort them before I started filming, but some of them, I, who knows, maybe I've made a couple mistakes in here. This one's really cute, too. It's all Leafeon and Glaceon themed. Ooh, how cute! The only thing is, obviously, because they're somewhat see-through, sometimes you get this effect where you can see both artworks at once. So I should, if I ever really wanted to display them, I would just put blank sheets of paper in between. And of course, because I buy things frequently, I win frequently and have even won duplicates. So we get things like this. Look at this. So cute. Very, very cute. You get to see both artworks. Um, this one also I managed to double up on. <laughs> Who likes Greninja? I mean, he, he's okay. He's not one of my favorites. I think I thought Greninja was pretty cool until I realized his um, scarf is his tongue. And i am quite disturbed by that like any misgivings i might have ever had about lick a tongue or licky licky were just thrown out the window when i realized Greninja has a tongue scarf Ta -da! this obviously is prior i don't even know how this worked because i won this um well after the alolan pokemon had come out but as you can see there's no alolans on here and i have one two three <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness what do you choose i choose oh my goodness out of this particular artwork mm, it's gonna be charmander i just love charmander he's so cute he's so cute but pochama would be a number two um so in the world of other free clear files we've got these ones this one i don't remember how i got it i think this was from the pokemon center for was it you got to sun and moon i was thinking it was for the anniversary of the anime but it says something about when the sun and moon was starting or continuing but yeah that was a thing this one i think i might have shown in a video because it was from pizza hut <laughs> literally like you made your order and then it had to add coupons or promotions and one of them was just give me a mewtwo clear file and i was like um yes yes please this one, I believe, might have also been from the Pokemon Center. Um, it's got some advertisements in the back. Still in its plastic. The plastic is in plastic. I haven't opened it yet to see what's going on in there. And this one, I don't. I think this was also from the Pokemon Center. I have a, a little... Yeah. Kimi ni Kimita poster in there. So I'm pretty sure that was the Pokemon Center. But you can see it says Takara Tomi here. Maybe that was actually from... It might be from Eon Mall or somewhere else. Maybe it wasn't the Pokemon Center. This one, and this one, and this one. Ta -da! I think you've seen all of these before. These are uh, different promotional ones that came with pre-orders of Sword and Shield boxes. Um, Pokemon card game, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So you've probably seen these before. I'm sure I've used at least one of them as a background. I really like when they give things like clear files or posters. I prefer that to some of the other freebies they give away. Oh, I missed. This was another Pokemon Center one. <laughs> and this one, I haven't taken it out of the folder. Um, it actually has a piece of paper inside. So when you take the paper out, the full artwork would be completely visible. So with the paper in, you just get these two Mimikyus. With the paper out, you can see these other Halloween-y friends. It's very cute. I like that one a lot. And then we got here, Pikachu Mania. This one says it's Ban Presto. So I think I got it from a game center, but I don't remember how or why. Who knows? I have a lot. I have a, this is, we still have this many to get through. <laughs> 10 minutes in and there's still more to go. Look at this one. You know, I had to get this because it's got the woo -loo -loo. Ooh, loo -loo 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 -loo. It's just so cute. 
I love Lulu and the back is so cute too. Oh, Lulu. <laughs> Lulu's so cute. Such a cute baby. I, you have no idea how hard I've tried not to buy Wulu plushies. I've got one. One of them. Um, no, you can't see her from here. There's one Wulu plushie in my apartment. Um, I, I want more. This was from a friend. I think Corey gave this to me. Thank you, Corey. Even though I don't think you watch my videos, but thank you. Is this, yeah, all Nagoya stuff. Um, I was just saying, yes, I have one Wulu plushie, but because they're white and my apartment gets really dusty, I just don't want to get multiples and have to be cleaning them constantly or risk them getting damaged. Of course, we have more amazing sword and shield artwork. Look at that. And then uh, some of his sponsors on the back. I really like this. I haven't touched Sword and Shield at all since Animal Crossing came out. I feel kind of guilty about it, actually. Doo -doo, we got more Sword and Shield artwork here. And we got this on the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, like I said, obviously, you can tell I like buying these because of artworks. These ones you guys have probably seen before because I've used these in the background of videos, too, because it's just such cute designs. These ones are not in their plastic anymore. I took them out so I could look at and appreciate all four adorable pictures. Wait, there's something in this one. <laughs> okay okay past sarah i hit an umbreon in there um i'll have to put him in a safer place obviously oh my um okay <laughs> i don't know uh we have another very cute design once again had to get it for the wulu oh my goodness just so cute all these sleepy friends and look at my little he bunny so cute the back is also just smaller versions of the same artwork. Very, very cute. Um, once again, one of those ones where I had to buy it, even though I never watched the movie, I had to get it for Thunder Kitten. And this, this is kind of how that other set with uh, the two files worked. It comes wrapped up in plastic like this. So if you do want to keep them, um, I think the other one actually didn't come like this. Sorry. Um, they started doing this with these sets where you get two so that you can actually keep them sealed and appreciate all of the artworks which i think is quite nifty but obviously the really cute chubby mofu mofu friends ones weren't that way oh here's another one i'm pretty sure from my friend Corey. yay you know there aren't many people that i've kept in touch with all my life but um cory is one of my friends that i've known since high school that means he's been putting up with my bullshit for over 20 years two decades two decades i thought my boss was crazy and he's been putting up with me for one decade <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is a file I bought as, uh, at a secondhand store. Um, so once again, a 100 yen one. I just had to because it's just some Kanto classics. It's super duper cute. Now we have over here, this is one. Um, I know there's two files in here, but it's sealed. This is from the Pokemon Cafe. Um, yeah, whatever. Let's just do it. I went with my friends and let's crinkle away from the camera. When you go to the Pokemon Cafe, you can pre-order merchandise. So some items you can only get by pre-ordering. Oh, there's actually three in here. And so I pre-ordered clear files and I think a plushie and something else. I got carried away. But we got one, two. I haven't seen these artworks in so long. So I only saw them when I ordered them online. And a three. <laughs> so cute. Someday, when we're allowed to move around again, I would like to take you guys to the Pokemon Cafe in Osaka because that would be really fun. Once again, we got a Thunder Kitten file because it's all about Thunder Kitten. And this is one of the ones that's well designed because I can do this. Ta-da! And you can see all of that fantastic artwork. This was a really interesting set where each of the Pokemon are each of the little groups of Pokemon that's so own little band. Of course, the electric group is the best because it's got Thunder Kitten in it. This is another one of those ones. I, I'm not sure how I feel about this art. Let me know how you guys think. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of Lisa Frank, but not quite. Um, the character designs are a little bit odd. It's not a style I would normally really get into, but I just loved how incredibly colorful it is. And I like the transition from light to dark. So had to get it obviously and then we got my big purple boy Gengar <laughs> so cute I really wanted more merch from this line but there really wasn't a lot that appealed to me um look at all his cute faces <laughs> the Psyduck is so good um yeah there wasn't a lot in that line that really worked like 
the artwork is appealing, but the actual merchandise itself, like I don't need towels. I don't, I don't, I only need so many pencil cases. The shirts were meh, you know? This one, my pride and joy, this is Shibuzo artwork. This is the Aurora Rokon and Hatsune Miku collaboration, um, Snow Miku collaboration. And I just, like, I had, I had to have it. I spent maybe a little more than I should have ordering this off of Mercari in Japan, but I am so happy that it is, look at how beautiful it is. And you guys know how much I love Shibuzo. She's just, I, I'm assuming Shibuzo's female now, but Shibuzo's artwork is just stunning. Then we have another special collaboration here. Oh yeah. So at the time the uh, Super Mario and Pikachu collab came out, I was not collecting the cards which stinks because I completely missed it on the opportunity hee <laughs> hee Luigi and Mario to buy the card boxes like they were there I could have bought them but I was like oh you know I'm, I'm watching people open videos um open cards in videos I'm not doing it myself I'm not collecting and then I was like I should have bought them they're I should have bought so many so many things I should have bought at the time um we got three more Pokemon files, and then we're going to get some Sailor Moon ones. So these ones I was very happy to get. As you can see, Pokemon Go, these each have the anniversary artworks on them. So I think I got them in the right order, but I could be wrong. I think I've got one, two, three here. But yeah, these artworks, I just loved them when they came out. So when the Pokemon Center got these clear files with the anniversary artwork on them, I lost my mind a little bit. They put them on other things too, like phone cases, t-shirts, towels, I think. <laughs> they really like towels in Japan. Um, but I'm just happy that I can have this artwork in a way that I can look at it and appreciate it any day, anytime, anywhere. And I mean, it's amazing artwork. So of course, if you guys know me, you also know that I love Sailor Moon. So I have some Sailor Moon files. I got these ones. Yay. So these three, these come from vending machines. You put in a hundred yen coin and it spits out a, um, this, it spits this card out and then you open it up and you see which file you got. And this one, of course, da -da, um, it's my girls. It's Haruka and Michiru, my absolute favorites. I think this one, actually my friend and I were just kept trying to get the ones we wanted. I wanted them. She wanted someone else who ended up trading and it worked out perfectly. Um, this is another one. Who do we have here? It's... Ta-da! Yay! It's Usagi and Chibi Usa. Or Serenity and Serenity. However you want to think of them names-wise. It is just fantastic. These are like just really, really, really pretty artworks. And of course, this one is going to be my girls. I think... These might actually be backwards. I'm not sure if this is the right file for this one. <laughs> the paper folder is the right one, but look at them. So pretty. I love them so much. Haruka is just like the best, the best ever. Um, and down here, I'll actually do this one first. This, as you can see, is a Ichikuji. Ichikuji. So these, you buy a lottery ticket and depending on what you get, you get a class of prize. So as you can see, this is the F class prize. And then you pick one of these at random, rip it open. And what came out of this one was Hotaru. <laughs> so Sailor Saturn is definitely one of the ones I really like. I've always found her really appealing. And she's one of those ones, I think just because she's really cool, I've always wanted to relate to her, but I don't relate to her as much as I do Haruka. Haruka is always my, my favorite. But yeah, very, very cute and cool. And I mean, overall, this... I mean, this is just the paper cardboard to hold it in, but even this still looks good. And you can see, I really, I don't know how well you can see the Haruko on there. That was the one I really wanted. It'd be so cool. <laughs> Haruko. I love her so much. And then these last two, I believe I got both of these when I went to a pop-up Sailor Moon cafe with my friend Lauren in Osaka. It was a lot of fun. One of the really cool things they did when you were there is... um you could tweet at them your song requests and they would play songs from the anime and the movies and it was just such a fun and silly thing i remember i had a uh, uh haruka and michiru themed parfait or drink i can't remember exactly but just look at how gorgeous these are <gasps> they're so lovely look at my girls i just love them so much <laughs> I don't know if you guys are aware, but on YouTube, um, the official Sailor Moon channel actually has Sailor Moon for free available to watch. And I started watching in Japanese. I haven't gotten too far because I've been doing projects that require me to look at them. So it's really hard to watch the Japanese 
think about it and do things but I i'm gonna keep watching if you haven't been watching you should be watching because it's free they put it out there just for us not the crystal the, the original the original sailor moon series maybe crystal will come someday this one it feels like there's stuff inside it i'm like i can feel that there's something in there i want to know what's inside why didn't i take this one out of the plastic i don't know nobody knows i think the pink file came for free for going and then i think i bought this one as a memento of being there <gasps> there is something inside <gasps> oh no I, I must have put these inside yay <laughs> it's a haruka coaster and i have her space sword on a little flimsy piece of paper what what is this what is happening oh my goodness i am so happy <laughs> i love my girls oh my god and well that that is my collection of clear files and pencil boards i i hope you enjoyed it <laughs> well thank you very very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video obviously different from the usual content but Hey, we are filming things as much on a budget as possible, so things are going to be a little bit different. I will probably do some sort of a postcard collection because now that I, after going through the work of finding all these and pulling them out, I kept finding my postcards and I was like, <laughs> postcard video. So we might do that, although that will probably end up being like an hour long video because I have a lot of postcards. Even if I just do Pokemon only, it's, it's, it's like that, that much, that, 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 so postcards yeah there's a lot of them i'm rambling so i thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let's get our little friend here yeah and i will hopefully see you again somewhat soonish i will try my best to put something together but you know how things are so we'll just see we'll see how i do i'm i'm trying to hang in there my hair is all crazy it's a it's a thing it's a phase it's not a phase it's never going away is it I shaved this side way too much. I am so easily distracted. Okay, thank you for watching. Love and appreciate all you pokey people. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. No, seriously, like I forgot to put the plastic guard on the clippers and then I was shaving my head and I like shaved like about this much and then I realized I was shaving myself like bald, like, like, like straight up bald. It's grown out a little bit and i mean it's not terrible it's i kind of it's kind of working but yeah the plastic guard is on the clippers for a reason children <laughs> make sure to use it i'm gonna go now okay bye nice talking with you i hope you have a lovely day <laughs>